On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, Troubleshooting ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, I'm having a problem with ProPresenter, and I want to show you the steps that I went through to fix it, and I'll even show you the problem that I had. And um, then, after we come back, I'll uh, come back from my computer, I'll tell you the specific file that it was that was causing this problem and how I found it. So without any further ado, let's head over to my computer and take a look. So for the past few days I've had this problem and uh, let me show you what it is. Go to Pro Presenter. Where are you? There's Pro 5, Pro 6. Okay. Now you'll notice that's up there. And wait for it. Yeah, you see that blinked on and then it's gone. And it's not that it's hiding or in process. It's just quit altogether. So how do I fix that? Well, the very first thing I did is I went to this page, www.renewedvision.com slash pro underscore download dot php. And you can click this version history because I'd recently upgraded. So I thought, oh, maybe the problem is that I've got the latest build, but there's a problem with that. So I downloaded this build uh, and installed that. Problem remained the same. Okay. Next question I had was, well, maybe it's something um, that's in one of the folders, but just to make sure before I went through that process, I logged out. So I click um, log out. I logged out, logged back in as a new user, and when I did that, it worked. So I have another user that I, I don't do anything with on this computer. This is great for troubleshooting is just having another account and being ready to use it if you did. So it worked there. So that told me that the problem was in one of the folders on my user account. So here we have this knowledge base article and I'll leave a link to that below the video. And it has, it's basically how do I uninstall ProPresenter 6 from my Mac in OS 10. So I started looking and seeing the folders that we have. We have user folders, they start with the tilde here, and then we have system folders, they don't. So I thought, okay, I'm going to ignore all the system folders because I know it works on this system, just not on this user. So I can ignore this one. Uh, in modules, blah, blah, blah. I can ignore that one. That's a system folder. Library preferences. Could that be it? So, <clears throat> I also made a note to myself, caches, etc. Just all these that were on the user level. And I'll show you a little trick that I do when I want to delete but not really a folder. So um, let's go over to Finder. And here we are in Finder. I'm just going to cut to the chase because this is the one that was giving me the issue. Now, unfortunately, it has a lot of different stuff in it. So any one of these could be causing the problem. Um, so I can... Um, continue on in this process later, but this is actually the folder that caused the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename it dash B. 
so ProPresenter won't be able to find this folder because it's not entitled ProPresenter 6, it's ProPresenter 6-B. So let's see what happens when I try and open up ProPresenter 6 now. So I click that, it adds a new one, and wait for it. Look, it's working. Now, I've got a license uh, that I'm using right now. <clears throat> Here. Let's click cancel on that. I've got a license that I'm using right now for a review that I did for Church Tech today, so that's why it gave me that other message. But, as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. So that tells me that it's something in this folder that's causing that. Now, ProPresenter has created new stuff here so that um, <clears throat> I'm okay. And I could just go along my merry way, but uh, I'm not that kind of person. So I'm going to troubleshoot further and what I will do is I'll delete this folder I'll change this back to 6 and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add um, dash B to about half of these files and see if it opens up if it does I know that the problem is in the in the half that I've added dash B to then I'm going to um, get rid of any newly uh, created files that are like this and I'm going to remove the dash B from half of those. Now if it turns out that it uh, doesn't open up then I know that it's um, in the ones that I haven't renamed. So I can rename all the ones that I did rename back to regular. So, for example, I do this for DVD and I do this for downloads. Folders are going to be a little bit easier to deal with. Anyway, so I do it half and then half and then half and that makes it nice and easy for me to go through all of these and determine which is the problem and see if it's uh, something that I really don't care about or what have you. Um, because it could be the stage display layouts are causing the problem. I kind of suspect that because the stage display shows up before other stuff. So it could be that that's it. Um, Another little hint, by the way, is that this was last changed on um, August 14th, uh, 2016. Today it's August 22nd. So that's the last time that it was changed. And anytime I see something with that date, that makes me think that that is also possibly one of the culprits. So that might be the first thing I do, in fact, is go through and anything with the date uh, modified of August 14th, I'll go through and do that. And then we'll see if we can narrow it down. But that's just some of the steps you can take to troubleshoot when ProPresenter 6 just won't open. Well, I hope that helped you. So. I didn't want to spend too much more time there uh, just going through all the files, but here is what I found out. As I suspected, it was, in fact, um, one of the August 14th files that had a problem. So in delving deeply into that and checking this and that and the other, what I found out was that it was the default playlist file. So I just renamed that default playlist dash B, just like I told you. And ProPresenter created a new default playlist. And when, they, uh, when it created the new default playlist, everything worked fine. 
all the other files when the new version was created, but not a new default playlist, didn't work fine. So now I know that that's the file that had been corrupt. So that can um, certainly cause the problem. So that's one thing for you to look at is a corrupt file. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that if you were having a problem with ProPresenter 6, the troubleshooting steps that I took you through will help you determine what the cause of the problem is because sometimes it's uh, you just can't reach out to someone when you need them. Um, and so it's better to be able to know what to do and how to get past the problems yourself uh, with uh, any software, and in this case, ProPresenter 6. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe, and there I'll give you more uh, ProPresenter tips and tricks, including some discounts to uh, my ProPresenter courses and ProPresenter um, phone consulting. That's something that I've just gotten into, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so it's something that I think will help you and um, your church as you're going out and changing eternity. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Thank you.